Okay, so we have three options for you today on our question of how to, how can I develop my intuition? Um, you have option one, option two, option three. So you can choose which, any one of these options and then um, I will timestamp them down below as well. And we're going to start with option one. Is assigned. So, option number one How can I develop my intuition? First card, beautiful card. And look at the fruit. <laughs> love that and the move the planet um earth above her and it just simply asks how do you feel and i think i think for for this um option if you chose this option it it relates to your your intuition is maybe more related to your feelings when we think of um intuition it can be a feeling it can also be a sense of knowing inside of us right what what we just know things or feelings can be feelings or you know you have various intuitive senses and maybe for you um, it's more about the feeling right so maybe pay more attention to your feelings and that's maybe something that um, that you need to focus on more. I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit more here. I might zoom back out, so let's just see. Yeah, because it's a bit far away, right? You can't see the cards. So the Seven of Cups tells you that um, you have many options. See all those, although this guy is standing there, he's like, oh my goodness, what should I pick? What option should I pick? And I think um, with, with, with you, you might be a little bit like all over the place, right? When it comes to trying to see um, what your intuition is like. Is it, do you, you know, like how do you develop it? You just, which option should I choose? You might have quite a few, quite a few ways of um, feeling your knowing things you know feeling things of your senses may be quite quite well developed with the feelings but maybe you spread yourself too thin in order to understand what your intuition really means does that make sense um and then the the butterfly is always something that um you can see the duality of it of course with the the two sides of the infinite um, but there's also that um, coming out of the cocoon so maybe now is the time for you exactly to come back in to learn your or rediscover your intuitive senses and it might be to go inside yeah the um, finding that balance for yourself inside of of you and maybe Remember that you don't have to be too much of one or the other. She's having cupcakes on one side and healthy fruit on the other side for juice. Yeah, and even the little kitten's having some cake. So don't take it too seriously. If you want to develop your intuition, just roll with it. You know, go inside and have your fun, but also be serious but also have your fun right and this is another one joy and delight it's all about having fun and when you want to discover your intuition try not to be so serious about it it says let go a little bit have a little bit more fun right you are ready for it now you are blooming you are ready to discover um, and delve more deeply into yourself in order to find answers for yourself it's um it, it is it is just you know now is the time for you to do that and um, again it's about the feeling honor your true feelings 
be be sure that um, you know that you know the things that you feel that's the things that's important for you that is what what's important and don't maybe take it so so seriously as as I say you know like um, it's it's looking outside of yourself but also inside of yourself yeah so things it it is just intuition is not just about what's gonna happen um, um, to you know to the world out there but it's also what's gonna happen to yourself inside of you so um, if we look at this final card is about healing the past and intuition is not just about looking forward it's also about looking maybe a little bit behind you that was before you things that came before you and um, looking at um, what you could have learned from these things and this is where the temperance comes in where you're finding that balance and where you looking within and you go quiet right you're blooming but you also have to start making your choices decide what is it what is it that you want when you look at intuition when you want to develop your intuition and just keep remembering this is our card that um holds us you know this is the this the main card of this reading and it's all about how you feel so at various times of the day go quiet into yourself and ask yourself how do i feel how does this feel for me does it feel right to do this you know um just go inside and, and look at your feelings and um i did a meditation a guided meditation that i posted on youtube and i'll link it below here which i think would really um, help you um to find your intuitive senses and your intuitive self and see how that works for you so yes this is number one um very beautiful you are definitely intuitive you just need to enjoy it as well and not take it too seriously when you start exploring your intuition have fun with it and trust your gut and now for the deck number two if you chose option two this this reading is for you and we ask the question of um, how can I develop my intuition yeah so let's see what this has for you so um, this this card is so beautiful it's one my favorite card in the deck it's also the back of this deck and um, it's the three um, the three goddesses in one the crone the mother and the child or the maiden and um, it tells you that your intuition you are a very intuitive person already you you have all um, all of it is inside of you already and um, what you might just want to remember is when you are uh, around other people or um, when you you know in your communication with people when it comes to your intuition be careful how many people you surround yourself and who you surround yourself with if you have a lot of people that are saying no 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 or this is just nonsense or you know oh, who do you think you are thinking that you have an intuition or maybe even call yourself psychic like how can you be like that be careful with who you surround yourself with yeah again judgment don't pay attention to other people um, so much you know on, on their opinions of your intuition because you are triple goddess whether you're male or female it doesn't matter the the feminine divine is all inside of us and maybe in your intuitive senses either you might want to take some courses maybe you want to um, meditate 
and go silent inside of yourself so you can listen to that quiet still voice and um, I have a, a meditation that I just recorded that I will link below um, that you might find interesting to um, to explore and it is like about your intuitive sense and and um, how you experience your intuition then we have this this card where it's um, it's almost like an exchange you see that it's an exchange and if it's a bit noisy outside there I'm really sorry <laughs> my um, my window is down the, the, the street it faces out on the street my studio and it's it's um, a little bit noisy with cars coming by I live in this very small Viking village town and um, yeah there's a lot of cars and they, they're building on the ha big the houses next to us so sorry for the noise but um so this is this is saying communicate but maybe not with naysayers yeah try and find somebody again there's that teacher maybe find somebody that um, you can learn from and that can help you to develop your intu intuition yeah because Again, this very the this is a, a goddess. One of the goddesses called Ostara, and um, it is a very. Um, this is all about fertility, right? She comes around springtime, and it feels like maybe now is the time for you definitely to start looking at how to how to develop your intuition. But remember to be strong. You know, you see these guys that keep on coming back to this card. Do not surround yourself with naysayers or people that doubt you or judge you. You know, stand your ground. Focus on what you want. Yeah, be generous with it. Be generous with it. Go into it. You, you are, you can really, you can, you, you are intuitive. We are all intuitive. Um, all we need to do is just sometimes work a little bit on it. You know, learn, find people that are similar to you in your same, in your community, maybe in a similar, that have a similar mindset to you. Connect with those people and leave the naysayers and the judges, people that judge behind you. And step into it, launch your journey, go into it go into it because because you are light you have a legacy of light you already have this in you you are already intuitive you have all everything the past the present and the future inside of you so yes this is this is my reading for you go for it and um, I wish you a wonderful blessed day today if you picked pile now or option number three <laughs> this is yours just before i begin um i live in a small town viking village i call it i've just moved here and my studio looks out onto the street my window so um there'll be some trucks coming by and some cars i try and record when it's quiet but you know you never know um, and they're also building next to me so you might hear a little bit extra noise so really apologies for that um, but I'm sure you'll be able to hear everything so pile um, option number three um, on how to for you to when you, if you want to develop your intuition spirals of manifestation it's, this is very powerful I think for you um, in developing your intuition you are you are a great manifester manifester is that a word <laughs> somebody that um, is really very very powerful in creating your world your own um, universe your life you have such a strong sense of who you are yeah and I think in order for you to keep staying strong like that keep your strength you um, need to be on your own you know your hermit not not always you know but you need to really um, focus on 
your inner self on what it is that you want in your life your own your own stuff you know your your own development and sometimes we learn really so much about ourselves when we just go quiet when we go into that space on our own without any distractions um, and this is the Empress card which is um, again this is so powerful see it's it's very very powerful cards here for you it's all about the individual about about you that you are strong you have the strength inside you you manifest you so for your intuition intu what does that mean for your intuition it means that um in order for you to to develop your intuition and to get stronger with it you need to go inside of yourself you need to go quiet you need to explore and wow look at this this is the queen of cups another strong um feminine figure as well although that you know it doesn't mean that feminine is male necessarily you're a woman so that's all you feminine is both in male and female so but this card just expands on the on the delving inside of you that element of water that element of um, silence of strength that comes from within you of using the feminine yeah and using the elements um, <laughs> another one is she i love this. this is such a cute fertilizer planting some seeds you know she's digging in the earth and again use the elements when it comes to developing your intuition use the use the water use the the earth the ground you know the trees be in nature and go on your own as a you know on on your own go, go walking a hermit doesn't necessarily mean you have to stay in a cave somewhere just take a walk in the day and go and sit underneath a tree and tune in listen to if you're close to water listen to the water flow if you have a garden dig in the garden yes 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 mother earth go outside for you in order for you to develop your intuitive sense for you to become you know more in tune maybe with your life and with yourself speak to mother earth speak to to the essence of where we come from we are on this earth we are part of this earth um environmental awareness is is that one of the earth fairies this is a fairy deck and again it all has the same message for you i keep on repeating it but the cards keep on repeating themselves maybe not maybe you definitely need to if you want to develop your intuition you need to go outside you need to be in nature to in order to develop that even if you're in the city just go to a, a park all cities have a park right or a, a small little place where there's something green maybe you should create a, a space inside your apartment if you don't have anything where you just have one plant if you don't have space for many just get one plant and tend to it and sit with that plant and just feel the energy from it because intuition is is a very um it's not something that shouts you know i think for me intuition is all about that quiet quiet still voice inside of you and it's it's like listening to that voice and learning to tune in, get a new story for yourself, create that new story for yourself. You, intuition will tell you what your story is, yeah, what your future is, what is the right way for you to go. And um, I have this meditation that I did um, that I recorded on intuition a few days ago, and I will link it below this video. Um, where you can explore your intuitive sense yeah so you can start to experience how it feels but i really recommend for you to um, go outside to be in nature 
yeah to be in in the earth on your own because you are powerful you you can manifest and if you set your intention that um, your um, that you want to develop your intuition that you want to really become strong with your um, with your intuition that you want to really do it then set that intention because you are powerful manifestator you can manifest anything so so set your intention and then go out into nature and go quiet and just let that in, intuitive knowingness flow through you so i hope this helped you and um, i wish for you a wonderful day further